Today we're going to talk about preparing for tomato grafting and the supplies that you need in order to make yourself successful. I want you to start with the end in mind, and that is once you have completed your grafting and you've got your perky little tomatoes all ready to go, you need to put them into a dark place as soon as possible. So find a dark closet, a dark room, or just a place where your dome will fit and you can cover it with a blanket. Okay, so that's step number one. Now we're ready to review the supplies. Most important is a good solid workstation. Some place where you can work, you can rest your elbows, it will help steady your hands and lead to more success. You have alcohol and paper towels. First you want to clean your surface with alcohol, dry it up. You have a lid here with a razor. You can also use an X-Acto knife if you prefer. You're going to pour a little bit of alcohol in here. It's going to keep your razor clean as well as a secure place to put it in between your cuts. Here is a very inexpensive um, humidity control with a temperature gauge on it. Extremely important to keep the temperature and the humidity uh, in your dome constant. You'll learn more about that later. And of course, here's the star of the show, our little seedlings. We have rootstock and scion. To keep them separate, always know what you're using. Remember, R for rootstock and R for right. Put your rootstock on the right and you'll be safe. We have two different sizes of clips, 1.5 millimeter and two. You're going to choose the size based on the size of the stem of your seedling. You have your water bottle for misting. It's just got water in it. You have a little measuring cup or a cup. It's got a quarter cup of water in it. And you have your, this is optional, but very helpful, magnifying glass. It's lit while you're working. It helps you secure your connection. So here is your healing dome. It consists of the tray and the dome. This dome has a dial here which opens and closes for vents. To prepare for this, you take your quarter cup of water, you put it in the bottom of the tray, and it's ready to go. These vents need to be closed. Here is your blanket. This can stay in your dark place so you've got it ready for you when you are finished with your grafting and you are ready to cover it up. So basically, this is what you have in order to be successful in your grafting and um, be comfortable, work with your supplies, get handy. These little clips are pretty small. I'd recommend not putting um, hand lotion on because they will pop right out of your hands. So relax and enjoy the process. Thanks.